Hi, it's Warren Hewitt. Hope you're doing marvellously well today. We are going to be doing a drum recording session today with the great Greg D'Angelo, an amazing drummer who um, was the original drummer in Anthrax and uh, was the drummer in White Lion and Pride and Glory and of course has done many rock sessions and many other sessions over the years. Great, great drummer. And uh, the song we're going to be recording on is a song that I wrote with an artist, a great artist called Alex Calais. It's, uh, it's a great heavy rock song with elements of keys, etc. And uh, we're still in the writing process, but we have the arrangement done and we have a basic idea of what we're going to be doing. It's not even finished vocals. It's all scratch ideas, etc. But I thought it would be a perfect song to use to give you an idea of you know, what we do and how to record drums on a budget. Now, the setup we're using is going to be a Focusrite Liquid Sapphire 56. It's an eight input uh, interface. It sounds great. It's very straightforward. We're using zero compression going in. So it's just mics, interface, you know, IO into Pro Tools. Really, really straightforward. Something you can do at home. We're using a Lewitt mic pack which I believe is about twelve or $1,300. And that gives us the basic setup. However, there's only two um, condenser mics, so we've added a third Lewitt on the hi-hat mic. And also, I wanted to record the snare bottom as well. So I brought in a SM57, a relatively inexpensive mic, and we're using that on the bottom. Otherwise, that's the basic Lewitt drum package. And there are other people that make drum packages as well. It's just, it's just the one we have, which is relatively inexpensive. And we've, like I say, we've added two extra additional mics. So let's get started and get some uh, get some level on all of our drums here. We're going to go around the kit. We'll do kick, snare, hi hat, rack, floor, overheads. So let's uh, let's go around. Some good level on the kick here. I always bring it down just a nats, as they say, just because once the drummer starts playing, he'll dig in a little harder. Go to the snare. It's a little low at the moment, but let's just see how he is when he starts playing. He'll probably dig in a little harder and really kind of give it some. Greg is a, is a very dynamic, you know, big, powerful rock drummer. The snare bottom looks pretty good. There isn't as much dynamics with the snare bottom as there would be with the snare top, because you're not hearing this, you're not getting the stick hitting at the same time. All you're getting is the resonance, you know, the reflection, reflection of, I suppose, of the sound on the bottom. Some hi-hat. That again looks pretty good. Let's go to the rack. There it is, Rack Tom. I panned here about 20% or so. You know, I like it to, you know, I want it to feel like he's going around the drum kit. But at the same time, it's got to be logical. Um, you know, most drummers have their rack slightly offset from their snare. Um, so, you know, 20% is pretty good. Um, so let's go to the floor. And on the floor, I use your pan around about 60%. Again, pretty good level. Great. Now, overheads. Pretty, pretty good level on the overheads there. Big, big, massive fill in. <laughs> that was the technical term. Big, right, big, it. massive fill. Big, big, massive fill. <laughs> um, and then I would go really tight back on the end. I mean, you could even follow that. You could be the dum bum 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 bum. Sure. It's, this is a fun song to like, you know, mirror the riffs and on drums and just kind of, you know yeah, what I mean? And just Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Rock and roll. Let's do it. Metal Mania.
hope you enjoyed the video there with Greg D'Angelo. Please hit, hit me up with any questions you may have in the comments below. And also, I'm going to be doing a more expansive, exclusive video for those of you that want to sign up on my email list below. And that will give us even more details about drum recording. We'll have mic placement, we'll have EQs, um, compression settings, and of course, we'll get into drum editing and sound replacing and placing samples, etc, etc. But in the meantime, please hit me up with some comments below. Subscribe to the email list and we'll get this conversation going and really get into recording drums. It's a lot of fun. To be honest, it's the, one of the most skilled parts of recording rock and roll, but one of the most fun, and I personally enjoy it. We can talk about drum editing, EQ and compression in future videos, and we'll get more into that kind of stuff in exclusive videos. So hit me up on the email list. would love to hear from you. Subscribe, leave comments. There you go. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I really appreciate it.